morning, good morning, Merry yeah. Christmas, mm. good morning. It's mm -hmm. a wonderful morning. <laughs> Another day on your numero uno breakfast show, Wake yeah. Up Nigeria. We bring you a fresh edition of this perfectly designed breakfast show to help you get your day started. Each morning, yeah. we love to give you the groundbreaking start yeah. that you deserve. Mm. Of course, uh, we have another chance to create a memorable experience with you and we won't switch that for anything. What's not to love, really? It's a season for appreciating, for showing how grateful you are, counting your blessings, a, se a season to express love. It is, it is, it is. Form. It Mike, is my best time of the year. I love you, Mike. Yeah, I love you too. Oh, I love you too. I love you, Mike. It's, a Just, be it's a best Mary, time. I love you too, darling. <laughs> I don't understand, Mike. They said, I love you. Too. I love you. And yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, he said it. Don't he tell said how to you. respond to love. Like, come oh, back, please. Titi, leave, leave me. I love you too. <laughs> eh? Mike. Leave Mary. Leave Mary. Mike, oh, yeah, come for a hug. Oh, come, leave Mary. I love you. Show love just because. Yes. Calm. Honestly. <laughs> hey, says calm. Did you just use the word scam? Good morning. Yes, but Mary, she knows why she says yes, calm. It's on your air hug. <laughs> Anyways, Mary, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you doing yourself? All right, we're great, we're great. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas, Christmas is almost here. It's, it's almost here. It's just yes. about, what, three days now? Mm. It's the 21st today. It's close. And, of course, uh, just have uh, yep. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and voila. Yes, sir. It's Christmas yeah. Day. And uh, of course, as it is, we're looking forward to Christmas. Mm -hmm. There's something to look forward on every single edition of yeah. the show. My name is Mike Messicano. And I'm Titilaya Oinso. Of course, you can stream this show live online. That's tvcentertainment.tv or on Facebook at TVC Connect. You can mm. also watch us on Go TV Channel 27 and UHF Channel 49. And the app is available to watch us anywhere around the world. Yeah. And then, of course, it's on iOS and Android. Mm. So, we're kicking off today uh, with relationship right here on this Wednesday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. We're going to be discussing the power of intimacy with relationships. Peace Egede is a family life and transformation coach. She's helped quite a few people on the on the journey to finding the true essence of happiness in every situation we can't wait to have her here it's going to be an interesting conversation and uh well as it is our custom during this period we have a do it yourself orina day of ewa hair and beauty will be here for uh, a DIY session. I'm looking forward to that one. Oh man, what a beaut. But we don't know if there's Photoshop during the beaut. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be having a discussion. Okuchuku Henry is going to be here. Uh, face of Images Housemates reality TV show. That should be an interesting conversation. And Don Cloud will be here for a musical performance. I hope you're set for that one. And um, finally, joining us for a chat is a veteran in the music industry, crooner of so many hit songs, the one and only KC, Mr. Limpopo, a.k.a. Zaddy, a.k.a. so many other things. God is indeed yeah. good. Oh, wow. Hey. December is flying by. Mm -hmm. It's like a freight train. Like you, before you know it, Christmas is here. Yeah, before you're, you know it, you're getting, January That's 1st. a sign that you're getting older. Huh? That's, that's a sign that you're getting older. The sign that you're getting older. Really? I'm talking about when getting older. Flies fast. You know, life is always a case of turn yeah. by turn. Mm. People go, new it people come becomes. in as babies, yeah. you get the drift. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that we know for sure for 2022, the high, one of the highlights was um, Prince Charles. I keep calling him <laughs> Prince. <laughs> King Charles. King Charles being crowned. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I've been calling him princes like forever. It's, 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 it's still a struggle to remember that mm. he's, uh, he's a king, king now. now. Mm. And um, the pound notes, yeah. new pound notes yeah. were, were mentioned. Yeah. They, they were introduced, rather. But they'll be going into circulation in 2024. And they're going to have his uh, face, his image on, on, the, on, the money. on the money. And so it brings us to the Naira notes as well. Mm. When we were phasing out the 2010s mm. and 50 Naira notes, the old ones, yeah. it was a very long process. It was even, I don't even want to say gradual. Like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure if you still spend the old one, yeah. people will Some collect people, it from yeah. you. Well, And so it's a bit worrisome that we have pound notes that carry images of old kings, <laughs> even before the queen who passed mm -hmm. and we are now being rushed Into to get rid of changing. the old 500 1200 naira notes so the question is are the new notes actually truly available i, I tried an atm yesterday mm -hmm. 
um, and it still gave yes, me the old yes. notes. Um, and I had assumed that since it's a bank ATM, that there would be the new notes coming out. You know, but we know that there's a reason mm. for them wanting to phase out the old notes. Yeah. Um, obviously, there have been indications of money laundering and, and all sorts of mm -hmm. things that money has been used for in the past. And mm -hmm. they're trying to see if they can start retracing uh, you know, where the money is going to. But aren't there other ways of doing so? I ask this because what many people simply did was to convert Naira to dollar. The thousands of 500s and 1000s mm -hmm. they had in their houses. It, so people, there are still ways that people have managed to bypass the system. Could, are there all, no other ways that Mike, this could have been faced? Because it's worrisome. There's a deadline for January 31st. <laughs> uh, deadline does not. It's not the first time. They'll, they'll shift it now. <laughs> why, why are you bothered? They'll get me shifted. Yeah, but definitely you know that due, due to many issues and all of that, redesigns of notes are very necessary in yeah. any sort of economy. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, like, like you mentioned, we saw a lot of people bringing out money. Mm. When you expect more money to be in circulation, that's one thing that it does. Mm -hmm. People were bringing out old notes and then yeah. they were going to the bank. So now there's more money in the banking system. Yeah. There's a reason for that. It's a stronger economy if the banking system is strong. Yeah. So that's even one. So the issue of the deadline, if they can't meet it, they'll move it now. But the point is that the process has started. Yeah. I, it was even so true. funny. I had to talk to my, my kids about it because in their piggy bank, it's old notes that there. I was like, okay, you know what? We yes. might have to open this. I, I actually I helped. I spent yeah. it. At the most. So <laughs> when you have this old notes, even if the deadline passes, you can always go to the bank. You might not be able to spend it as legal tender, yeah. but the bank will still take it. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, they'll take it. Huh? All right. They will then. Take it. Time for the news update on Wake Up Nigeria. I am Mary Bashua Alimi. The presidential candidate of the APC says, if elected, his administration will maximize the potential and assets of the country to develop and grow Nigeria's economy. Ashiwaju Bolatinubu made this known during a town hall meeting in Calabar as part of campaigns ahead of the presidential election. Ola Awakon reports. This cultural display is to welcome the presidential candidate of the APC and his campaign team to Calabar, the capital city of Cross River State. And here he alights from the plane to continue with his message of renewed hope to the people of Cross River. And he is received by Governor Ben Ayade and some APC chieftains in the state. Ashiwaju Tinobu was ushered to see the colorful display by the ladies of Cross River. At the cultural center, the arrangement was more than a town hall meeting as the APC presidential candidate walks in. The host governor, Professor Ben Ayade, and others spoke passionately about the mission of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu to renew the hope of Nigerians. After a display to show the cultural diversity of the people of Cross River, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu climbed the stage to make a practical statement of unifying two APC stalwarts in the state, Senator Owan Eno and Barrister Mary Equerieta. Ashiwaju Tinubu promised to work with the government of the state to maximize the potential of Cross River to the development of the state and the country at large. We got to make a promise to work with the government to easily link the seaport to the northern part of Nigeria to evacuate goods, fabricate items. We can think beyond the whole and butlers. We can mechanize our farms. But also no. Questions were asked and Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu gave answers to the satisfaction of the audience. We can contact these people to a publication, engineering, sector and making a 
at this town hall meeting in the state dubbed the People's Paradise, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, who had his team members as panelists, presented himself as a presidential candidate who can answer any question geared towards the development of the country. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Calabar. To foreign news now, a former secretary who worked for the commander of a Nazi concentration camp has been convicted of complicity in the murders of more than 10,500 people. Emgard Fuchsner, 97-year-old, was taken on as a teenaged shorthand typist at uh, Stotov and worked three and worked there from 1943 to 1945. Fuchsner, the first woman to be tried for Nazi crimes in decades, was given a two-year suspended jail term. Although she was a civilian worker, the judge agreed she was fully aware of what was going on at the camp. Some 65,000 people are thought to have died in horrendous conditions at Stutov, including Jewish prisoners, non-Jewish Poles, and captured Soviet soldiers. Fuchner was found guilty of aiding and abetting the murder of 10,505 people and complicity in the attempted murder of five others, as she was only 18 or 19 at the time she was tried in a special juvenile court. And that's it on the news update for the on Week of Nigeria. There's so much more to come. Just stay with us. All right, welcome back. Sam, take a look at the headlines of the dailies today. We'll start up with uh, the punch. And we have here uh, cash limits. Reps order CBN to stay, um, to stay action. And banks are adamant. And uh, what we have here, lawmakers insist Emir Filet must appear on uh, Thursday or send a deputy. Now, House defends order to suspend policy, cites CBN Act and Constitution. And we also have your banks ready for implementation, no counter directive uh, that is talking about the spokespersons. And governors and federal government agree on NIPP sales to fund budgets. That's above the flag of the paper. And Buhari transmits uh, finance bill. And uh, NAS, that's talking about National Assembly passes budget on Thursday. Uh, Germany, okay, and uh, we can see some uh, loot here. Germany begins return of 1,130 looted Benin bronzes, and INEC uh, needs 10, 100,000 vehicles and 4,200 boats. That's Yakubu, truck driver kills tricycle rider and hoodlums loot rice. And NFIU stops cash withdrawal from federal government and the state account. All of that uh, on the front page of uh, the punch. And uh, from the punch, let's uh, look at the nation. And what we have here, on the nation, we have here uh, Tinubu unveils funding and plan for infrastructure revolution. Uh, we see a picture story here. And uh, just beside that, the riders underneath go on to say, it's possible to build in difficult times. Not Christian Forum endorses Tinubu and Shetima. And Cross River APC crisis resolved. Uh, underneath uh, there, we can see Governor's OK plan to sell off five power plants. CBN releases security features of new Naira notes. And uh, right above the flag of the paper there, Okukwe quits as OB's campaign DG. And Shema Camp, PDP leaders Sean Atiku's Katsina rally. And we are progressive. We are nation builders. Uh, you can see the picture there of Ashiwaju Bola Metinubu and Kasim Shatima. Uh, for you to get more of this, you just check out uh, the nation. And that's where you have all that information. Let's see if we can take one more paper here. Um, let's, let's do um, Daily Trust. Let's do the Daily Trust here. Uh, we have the Daily Trust here, and um, hmm, Francis, this one might interest you here. Yeah? <laughs> Igbo, avoid Christmas trips to South East. Francis, are you not traveling? Lol, at motor parks, airports, as many remain in North Abuja and Lagos. Economic showdown worsens apathy, and we will dare the odds. Stay where you are. Relatives tell kinsmen. Um, uh, underneath there, we see Zamfara airstrikes. Bandits seize residents as human shields. 
uh, Joss Mann jailed two years for destroying PDP's billboard and his bar storm same-sex marriage venue in Kano and arrests 19. After conviction, Okwe steps down as OB's campaign DG and race to NAS. Gombe North, Dan Kwambo, uh, Al-Kali back for another bout. And the picture story there is that of President Muhammad Buhari and the Minister of Communications, Professor Issa Ali Ada, during a particular commissioning. Above the flag there, FG to ban cash withdrawal from public accounts. Article vows to reopen borders, donates 50 million to victims of banditry in Katsina. And we need 100,000 vehicles and 4,200 boats for 2023 polls that is coming from the INEC chairman. All of that's on the front page of the Daily Trust. And that's it on the headlines of the dailies. Okay. Hi. So during the holiday season, you know, uh, different things happen for different people. But then the question now is, if we're really feeling it, is Christmas truly in the air right now? Uh, well, at least in comparison with, with the past two years. What do you think, Mike? It's, it is for me. It is for you? Yeah, really? Really? So there's something Mike used to do when we, we used to share a desk some time back. <clears throat> in November, you start playing Christmas cards. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm full black. That's a part of Mike nobody knows. Oh, oh my God. Sweet. I'm telling you. And then I would just start. So Mike, you have a sentimental part. I used to just automatically start feeling very Christmas. That's another alternate dimension. Wow. You need to watch Marvel movies. Wow. But yeah, I can understand where the question might come in concerning Christmas. Now, we saw something while I was reading the paper. It said, if you go to the parks, people are not traveling as much as they would normally do. And when in the southeast, king's men are telling their fellow brethren not to come because we know mm. this, this security situation there is just really bonkers. Yeah. And um, I, 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 I think that also because of traveling being reduced and that is also one reason why some people might not feel mm. as Christmassy mm. yeah. as they normally would. And, and I mean, come on, the security situation, even though a few are still, people are still traveling, but not as much. I mean, by now, probably the traffic situation would have Reduced yes. a little bit in Lagos, it's but it's terrible. it's it's crazy and all of that. So that also that also that also contributes. And um, I mean, generally, generally, uh, you are more businesses. We're growing up as a kid. By by twenty, businesses have closed. Yeah. But we grew. We've grown up to a, a to a place where on twenty fifth, people are still doing business. Working. I'm working on Christmas Day. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not. Yeah. That, really, we are not monk. I don't media, talk about you. Media people <laughs> always working. Yeah, 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 you're not. You're not monk. I'm just <laughs> saying that <laughs> business is then. Please, I'm not a medical doctor. <laughs> but, that, but you know, Mike, there's actually a lot to take out from what you just said. We we are having this feel like Christmas isn't isn't really. Christmassy. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Like, nobody is looking excited. Everybody is still hustling. At this time, people have even started partying. Mm. Uh, you see streets lined with different rams and cows. Yeah. You know, yeah. nothing. Mm. Nothing. There's not nothing. It's you that's nothing. So Every day, go to. It is, I will not be landmark. nothing in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> go to landmark. Plenty places there. In party no, back now. to for. It's you that don't like going out. In, uh, <laughs> In the opposite of landmark in Lagos, uh, there, there's always something to show Christmas. Uh, we have to be real. That's the way it has always been. Christmas has always been a festive period. Besides, um, you know, are allowed to have their stickers yeah. everywhere, end sure. of year party. Sure. I want town boys. I want this. <laughs> that, 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 that's what that reminds really? me that the year is ending. But really, do you, th uh, do you think it's a financial issue? Do you think it's of because course. there's not as much money of in Of course, of course. Um, I mean, I, as you all know, I started uh, my pop-up uh, exhibition yeah. last year. And then this year, as much as I'm having um, a bigger space mm -hmm. and a lot more vendors that should be exhibiting, their concern is sales. Mm. The last trade, international trade fair that I was a, 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 one of the vendors I was a part of, people really did not turn out. Mm. So that's telling that, and even people that turned out also, you know, complained about, you know, the price of things being mm -hmm. high. Mm -hmm. So they were not patronizing a lot of vendors. Mm -hmm. So it is an economic issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
prices of things have gone up. Mm -hmm. I, we bought a bag of rice yes, sir. over the weekend, <sighs> almost 40,000 naira. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can have you, people calling me every day can you finish and it? they're already asking. Ah. No, can don't you know, finish it. Besides, uh, can you so finish it? Can you finish it? Right? Hold on. Finish it. It, so it, I, I, it's I'm a time of sharing, I'm just going to use Auntie. this, uh, this um, <laughs> opportunity one bag to of also rice. let people know. Yeah. I mean, people out there. I think this is the time mm. for us to be each other's keeper. Yeah. Let us look out for one another. It's yeah. a season of cheer, love. Wow. Um, let's share it. If yeah. you know anyone beside you, a neighbor at work yeah. that you think needs a helping hand, even a small, one delica of rice. And yes. I asked Honestly, about the bag of rice you bought and you don't show No, you are an exemption. So at so, the end of the day, please, let's just try as much as possible to make the most of this period, okay? Yeah. Enjoy yeah. it as best as and you can. And show love just because. I said I love you, Mike. I said this? I love you, Mary. I love you too, M.M. I don't love M. M. you. M. M. You, you love me. Amen. Your mom loves you better than you, than you do. You, you, honestly, you <laughs> love me so much. And we if you don't share that rice, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. Mike, Mike is going to buy 10 people rice. Share rice. No. Share wow. Rice. See your mouth. Please, let's take this break. We'll be back in a bit. Because <laughs> of Welcome to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Chef Tina is in the building. And as always, she's matching my height with her hat. It's all good. It's all good. She's even taller than me. <laughs> Chef Tina, what are we having for breakfast? Mm. Yeah, we are traveling to mm. Mary's um, state. Ah. <laughs> we are making stir fry. Oh. <laughs> chili beef um, so sauce and okay. white rice. Stir fried chili beef sauce and white rice. That's what we're having for breakfast. Okay, let's talk about the ingredients. What are we making use of? Okay, we have our beef, okay. which is the most important um, protein for us yeah. today. Then we have our varieties of... Before you talk about the variety, what did you use to marinate this? I actually used, I used um, rosemary, okay. seasoning cube, salt. Okay. I used a um, little of olive oil. Okay. Then I put little garlic. Okay. Then I added my sesame oil. Okay. okay. To marinate it. I already marinated it down so... Since last night or this morning? I did it last night. Last night, mm -hmm. so it can really infuse yes, um, the flavors. Then I just put it in the fridge okay. overnight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the other ingredients. Okay. I have my cornstarch okay. to thicken the sauce. The sauce in. Okay. This is the rice. You can actually use any rice. You know, okay. the, the, the festive period is around the corner, and um, this is very, very, <clears throat> very, very um, easy, as in very cheap, mm. you know, for you to get something you don't need to break your bank before you, you have this. something for christmas okay. so you can actually use beef you know we have this mindset of always using chicken 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 yeah. you know so beef then i have my spring onions i have my onions i have garlic okay. i have olive oil okay. i have my chili pepper okay. this is actually my product then this is a seasoning cube the rosemary salt Okay. And the sesame, sesame oil. oil. So. Okay, so how did you blend this? this oh, it's a secret blend as well. Because <laughs> when, when, when chefs say their own products, <laughs> they don't want to tell you what's inside it, and that's understandable. But is, is, is it just made mainly of, of chili pepper? It's mainly of chili pepper. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, our bell peppers. So yeah. I need you to run me through the process. I know we will have to boil the rice, but yeah. what else are we going to do? I'm going to stir fry the beef. Okay. I'm going to go straight away. Stay fry the beef. Okay. While I'm waiting for my pots. Okay. You know, so I'm just going to get it dry. Okay. So stir fry the beef. I'm stir frying the beef right away. Okay. So I have my olive oil. Okay. Just little olive oil. Okay. So once Why the choice of olive oil instead of the regular vegetable oil? I like healthy like okay. tell the way of life because we're using all this and as you can see it's really it's, it's healthy so mm -hmm. it's better we use olive oil you can actually use any oil you can use butter okay it all depends on what you what really you want, okay. want. so okay. i'm going to add my onions okay. immediately okay so uh, you know the, the thing with olive oil i've always believed that olive oil maybe because of uh, well, you know, Heavy. certain <laughs> factors. It's very expensive it's to purchase. Very, very expensive. So, what you should be able to have access to. I'm even thinking if you need to get anointed, maybe you need to use vegetable oil as well <laughs> uh, to balance things out. By the way, if you check your screen right now, you would see um, the ingredients yes. for making our stir fried chili beef sauce uh, with rice. Okay? So, the next thing that is going in is the 
Garlic. The garlic? Yes. Okay. The garlic is going in. Okay. So, mind you, her beef is already stir fried, uh, okay. already marinated. marinated so, so, it can go in. It can go in immediately, yeah. Okay. One thing we all know about the Christmas season is everyone wants to look good, especially the ladies. Now, this Wednesday, we have another DIY segment, and we have, once again, Oi Onoride from Ewa Hair and Beauty. She's going to be showing us ladies some really spicy hairstyles that we can try this Christmas season. It's great to have you back, Oi. Hi, Titi. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> all right, first of all, I'm going to say love colored hair. Right. People that watch the show, they know that I like trying different spicy colors uh, on the show and, right. you know, going out. Uh, and I'm looking at this. Talk to us about this particular piece. Okay, so um, this is a, you know, burgundy hair okay. color. Okay. And um, it's um, body wave. Mm. So if you, obviously, we're in the, we're in the season, yeah. you know, a lot of parties, you know, a lot of get-togethers and all of that. So myself and my team, we've, you know, brought some styles that okay. will make it pretty much easy for you guys this season. So, so this is... Um, body wave. Right. You call this it body wave. Do right. these curls stay like this or do you have um, to curl them yourself? Well, I believe you have to, you know, touch it up yourself okay. once in a while. So if you have, a, if you have like a, an occasion, yeah. so all you need to do is to, you know, get like a, um, a spiral um, or tie okay. and then, you know, you just take a little bit of it yeah. and then turn, roll it up on your iron and okay. then leave it. All right. And once you're done, you spray with, um, with a hairspray and then you're good to go on this. All right, fantastic. Some burgundy body wave curls, perfect for this season. I'm loving the color right. and it looks amazing on Victoria. Uh, right. But I think we have some other styles to show. Yeah, you. sure. All right, thank you, Victoria. All right, so let's see. For those who are not so um, into curling and tonguing their hair. Can we have the next model, please? Right. All right. Thank you so much. We have Thank Catherine you. here. So right. what do they call this hair? Okay, this is a kinky, coily hair. Okay. You know, it has um, a bit of two colors. We call it ombre. Mm. It has um, natural color and color 27 all mixed together. Okay. So, you know, if you're going for like an evening, you know, party or a date or something, you could just, you know, mm. wear this. Mm with, you know, a outfit is best for this and you're good to go. All you need with this is just, you know, water and a leave-in conditioner. Like okay. I always advise, okay. use almond oil or okay. coconut oil, a little bit of it, and then you're good to go on the style. So you just basically throw this on and it, well, she's wearing a casual look now. She right. has denim on and right. it looks good on this. But are you sure this will work for like an evening out or like a dinner? Um, I mean, it just depends on, you know, who you're going out with. Okay. If you, you know, if you're not really, if it's a close person to you mm -hmm. and, you know, you're just coming from work or yeah, something yeah. and you don't want to go home to go change, yeah. you know, your hair will do all the, okay. all the, you know, the getting together, all the talking, <laughs> you know. <laughs> all right. Now, this hair is definitely talking to me. And you said this is an umber hair. Yes. It's human hair, yes? Yes, 100% okay. human hair, right. It starts with the natural color and then comes out to yes. Uh, yes. color. Yes. You said this is 22? Yes, this is right. about, um, yeah, yeah 20, this is about 22 inches. Okay. And okay. I, like okay. I said, all you need is just water, leave-in leave conditioner, conditioner, and you're good to go. All right, another spicy style for the season. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so who do we have next? Now, some people are not really into colors and vibrant hairstyles. Some people right. are a little more um, conservative. Right. So now this particular model uh, has... Uh, what what do you call this? Well, this is a bob style. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's about, right. it's about eight inches. So, it's a short bob. Yes, yeah, so it's a short bob. Mm -hmm. You know, just way to your to your shoulder, a little mm -hmm. bit down to your chin. So, you know, if you have like something, something simple like a get together. I mean, one thing about this hair is like it actually goes for an evening, an oh. evening out. You know, okay. if you have your gown, you can wear your bob. Yeah. You know. If you have like a like a movie date, okay. if you whatever outing it is, it goes all well with such outing. And you know, it's pretty much easy. This is a closure bob, a closure okay. wig bob. Okay. So all you need to do is to you know get your straightener, yeah. straighten it up, you know, a little bit. Had your um, almond oil, okay. and then you're good to go on this. Okay, so I, I, I'm a big fan of short hair uh, right. because of the fact that it's so hot these days. Right. The heat when it comes to wigs, you know, people, a lot of people that just 
feel a little uncomfortable around the right, neck. So right. this works for people like that. Yes. Um, so now, was this a longer wig that was cut, or this is how the, the length actually was? Okay, this is how the length actually actually is. Okay. You know, um, if you're doing a, you know, this is hundred percent human hair, obviously. Mm. You know, it's not advisable to, you know, use a long hair for your because human hair are pretty much expensive. Mm. So all you need to do is get your 10, 8 inches and your 10 inches um, closure and you're good to go with this style. So with this length, I, I believe this would be a lot more affordable right. than the longer ones. Yes, it's, it's yes. a lot affordable mm. and, you know, it's not really picky. It mm. goes with, you know, any kind of style. If you're going to the beach, yeah. best for the beach. Okay. If you're going for, you know, whatever the occasion might be, I think okay. it's pretty affordable and yeah. you're good to go on this style. All right then. So yes, you have that more conservative a safer look for those who are not really into colors. Uh, but then some people want to look expensive. So right. I think our next model uh, is going to show us how uh, <clears throat> expensive we can actually look. Uh, next model, please. All, All right. right. So, yeah, this is the piece de resistance. The bone straights right. that everyone has been talking about. Right. All over the world, apparently. Right. Uh, but we've talked about bone straight hair on the show many, many yes. times before. Um, why is it that people just keep going for this? Yes, you know, like I always say, the bone straight is, you know, your ready-to-go style. It doesn't really need too much of styling. You know, it could stay like this for like six months or even okay. more. Okay. So if you're a kind of person that you're very busy and you are not so good with styling, mm. so the bone straight is, is the best option for you. Okay. So, you know, remember, like we always say about the bone straight, it can be colored if it's natural hair, except okay. you buy already colored bone straight hair. Okay. So basically all you need to do, like I don't advise too much oiling mm. of the bone straight hair, just once in a while oiling, and you have to go good to go on this. And it actually goes, you know, with any kind of occasion. Mm. And if you are in a party, you know, mm. and you leave your hair down yeah. and, you know, shining and slicky, mm. you know, all eyes can be on you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do believe also there's, uh, it, it does do something to, um, okay, so they, ask, they say some hairstyles age you. Right. And some make you look uh, and feel younger. Right. Uh, and I feel like this hair actually does that for some yes. people as well. It makes yes, you it does. look and feel younger when you wear bone straight hair. Yes, I think we is. have one more model, yes. right? Yes. Thank I you so much for joining us. Too. All Thank right, you. let's see what else we can wear this season. Okay, oh. yes. Look so at we're that. coming back to pop with color now. So this right. is like a combination of all the things we talked about earlier. Right. Right. Uh, it's a, a nice length. Right. It's not going to, you know, disturb me too much at my, my neck right. because it's giving me a lot of freedom here. And I love the color. Talk to us. Okay, so, I mean, this is a nice color for Christmas. Mm. So if you're looking for something that is not too reddish, mm. so this is, you know, in between red and white, just burgundy, just the perfect look. Yeah. So, you know, this is you know, a very, you know, good style. It's, um, it's a bob, you mm. know, closure, less expensive. Mm. You know, compared to the very long one, yeah. and um, any day, any time, you're good to go on this. And so, if you have that, you know, white party, mm. and you know, all white, and you're looking for something to just, you know, make it different, make it pop out. Yeah. So this can actually do the popping out for you. Okay. Right. So maybe you, you know, you have an all white party, and then you just want that pop of color. Right. You have this with some nice shoes. And I have to say, the pop of color on your head as well. I don't think, you're not going home with this week. Man. You're not going home with this week. You yes. leave it for me. <laughs> At this point, we're going to be taking a quick break. Hopefully, we've inspired you a little uh, with these amazing hairstyles. Uh, maybe you might want to pick one up for your girlfriend, your wife, your daughters. I don't know. And ladies, we are going to be looking good this season. We're going to be taking a quick break. We'll be back with more. Welcome again to the kitchen. Chef Tina, we can't get enough of you and your hats. <laughs> well, she's uh, cooking up a storm here. We're having uh, stir-fried beef sauce. Ch chili beef sauce. Chili beef sauce, yeah. Stir-fried chili beef sauce with rice. White rice. White rice. That's what we're having for breakfast. The ingredients are currently on your screen. And uh, so far, so good. Our meat has been boiling up a storm. Yes, so. We are ready to finish the stir fry process. Yeah. So join us. As you can see, the rice is um, on, the on heat. Uh, yes, on heat now. So that should be ready yeah, in a bit. So here so we, we go. We're, we're going straight. Um, okay. Mary was asking, are you going to put the vegetable first before the uh, corn flour? I. I think the best way for you to get your vegetables crunchy okay. 
it's actually you pouring the corn flour first. Corn flour first. Okay. So the corn flour actually acts as a thickening agent. It's, it's a thickening agent. See? So. See that? So that's how you get the sauce you want. When you put in the corn flour, instant thickening. So you can now add, add more water, water yes. as desired. Yes. So when you're cooking your food and uh, your, your beef sauce and you're wondering, ah, this is not how I used to see them serve this thing. <laughs> is the, the secrets very easy is what is what, um, the, the corn flour. And then you add more water as desired as till desired. you get the exact thickness you need. So after this, we'll put in the veggies, Vegetable, of course. Yes. So I, I'm actually wondering, how much meat is this? Because we know how... Meat can be in the market these days. Do you know, amazingly, this meat is just 900 naira. I don't understand. Yes. This one. 900 naira. All of this meat? All. 900 naira. Yes. Uh-uh. <laughs> this meat that they used to serve, uh, let me not say anything, so that they don't know where we used to buy food. So okay. I'm going to add my spring, spring onions. onions. Okay. So the just spring onions will still go before the vegetables? Yes. Wow. Okay. Because this is I, for the flavor. Yes, I don't want the vegetable to be overcooked. So it's right here fun. there is seasoning cube, everything for taste. Everything. So okay. you don't need to add too much. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So we'll finish up the cooking process. Not to worry, we'll finish up uh, the cooking process. At the end of the show, you get to see the finished product. Well, we'll help you eat it. <laughs> right now, though, we've reached the top of the hour. We still have 45 minutes on the other side of the hour. Just stay with us. This is Wake Up Nigeria. All right, an amazing hour just wrapped up. Right now, we have another amazing 45 minutes left. We're going to be entertaining you and giving you what exactly is required to gear you up for the day. Merry Christmas once again. Welcome yeah. to the second lap yeah. of uh, your favorite family breakfast show. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so um, it's all about the season of good cheer, of celebrating, of uh, sharing love, as yeah. it were. And of course, we are set and we're primed. We've been sharing love all through. We'll yeah. share it all across up until Christmas and maybe even after that. Mm. And probably still even after yeah. that. We've had uh, winners yeah. so far, or one winner. And we're going to get more winners as they go by. We have some quite exciting, you know, gifts out so there for you. Throughout the week, we've been giving out some key words. Now, there's mm. a particular word we've used quite a lot during today. I'm mm. not going to say it yet. Good um, <laughs> You said it just now. You said it just now. But, hey, you need to stay very, very close to your TV. Look out for some key words. That's how people are winning amazing prizes. We have a winner standing by already. We're going to be giving you the name of that winner very, very soon. Have you uh, traveled today? Traveled. Have you traveled this year? No. That looks no. like a good keyword. It does? <laughs> traveled? No. But yeah, good. there's a whole lot we have in store. No. My name is Mike Messi Kenner. And I'm Tita Laya Oyinsong. And of course, those ladies are there in the kitchen and uh, getting set to all of that. How far? What's happening there? Mm. Ah, my God. <laughs> Mike. Mike. Mm. I'm happy to tell you that, <laughs> that the only person having breakfast today is me. It's okay. I'm saying it with so much joy and I know, happiness. I know tired of us. Satisfaction. Yeah, it's because okay, it's okay. You know there are sometimes you are in the kitchen that you are full before you taste the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The sight alone, mm. oh my goodness. Mm. Colorful. Ah. Colorful. Ah. <laughs> Chetina. Okay. You know we're talking earlier about um, Christmas in the air. Mm -hmm. It's Christmas in the air. I'm actually thinking this is a low budget yet okay it's not you know what kills the low budget mm -hmm. the bell peppers but you know you can you can actually make a, you can actually do this low budget so here's what you can do you get your meat or chicken you get your corn flour mm -hmm. and then instead of using the expensive bell peppers you can what's just wrong with bell peppers being, one, yeah. right? use the cheaper versions yeah. or if you yeah. use the yoruba person who likes pepper abandon the chili pepper uh, the chili, chili pepper yeah. and simply slice your uh -huh. no? slice the green ones slice the yellow ones slice the, the red, one. red one put it inside mix it together if you like Sam, add another thing let me tell you what it is so that let me hold the chef tina because you might faint you add ugu ah. <laughs> So as to give you the color green, ah, this soup will be, in fact, no, but this is actually a yeah, fantastic well done, recipe. Yeah, well done, well done. Fantastic recipe. I like it that this week alone, we've had chefs who have been giving us Christmas meal ideas. Yes. Food ideas, ideas yes. that you can make, you know, for your family this Christmas, yes. having guests around. Yeah, nice. okay. Well done. Well, Thank you. Well, Chef Tina gets on with uh, business here. Let's hear what Mike and Titi have to say. Yeah, so we did say we were going to have the name of the winner for yesterday's question. Um, it was, well, the key word yesterday was Davido, right? Mm. 
and it was mentioned 12 times uh, during uh, yesterday's show, uh, and including the one mentioned in the music video. <laughs> but I've tried answering via, okay, well, she said she tried to answer via YouTube, uh, but she couldn't find the question there, of course, on YouTube, it wouldn't be there. But it was in the video. Uh, but uh, yes, Annie Gala underscore Richardson. Annie Gala underscore Richardson, you are the winner of our Woo! giveaway for yesterday. Congratulations. Yes. Um, now, a big shout out. Okay, well, uh, you know what? We are going to be back to have a little more information for you on the giveaways. I'm not going to tell you what is in here. Mm, but, yeah. the, but, but this I is for the oh, wow. for the person who won yesterday and is speak, uh, the one person who won today from yes. yesterday's question. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. So um, we have a keyword for today already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Are we allowed to mention the keyword yet? No. We, well, we're, before, we're before you mention the keyword, I just we're want to also point out that the other person you mentioned, Queen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, is actually yesterday's winner yesterday's from the winner. question of the day before that's yesterday. That's a Monday. Monday's yes. Question. So please take note. You won Cut TVC. Yeah. While this, uh, that's Kenny Star Queen. Yeah. We announced um, your name yesterday. So yeah. you won uh, Cut C TVC. Yeah. While the winner for today, that's, that's uh, Louis Gala, is for yesterday's question, Ali Gala, for yesterday's question. So you won today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you get this package. A courtesy, uh, Shagun Fumi and as, uh, Associate, Associate Ox. Ox. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so many other great giveaways uh, mm -hmm. coming your way. And our keyword for today. I want to mention it. I thought you were waiting wow, tomorrow. Wow, Mike. Why is Mike doing what this? What is always wrong After I told you? him I love him. I told you I love you. And I told you I love Just you. Go ahead and so say the keyword. that's why the she's been on love. love. Ah. Ah, ah. Seriously, Titi? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you see it coming? Yeah. So, Titi, you, you know something, eh? <laughs> I need to come one morning. And while we're having a conversation, especially just before the weather, I'll just take a dollop of cheese and put it here <laughs> on the tip of your nose so that everybody can say, well, Titi, why are you so cheesy today? Oh, wow, wow. Ah. Was, I'm like, not you know, sure if we entered. M.M., we were not you? here. What when she started it. What about you in this place? <laughs> wow, Mike. When yeah, she's yeah, like, this I'm morning, she started with, question. I love you, Mike. And, and yeah. then I was like, you didn't get it, right? Yeah, but it's What's a with the love? love. This so is a show of love. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mike, I'm going to be some packs of rice. I don't want. Oh, Mike, they said they are going to give you, give you a rice. I don't want. I don't want. Go on, come on, rice. You are collect your own. What's that word? I don't want. What's that word from lockdown? Which one? Uh, palliative. Oh, palliative. Wow. Is, it, is it rice? Is it rice? Is it rice? <laughs> foreign rice. I don't want it. Yeah, I don't want it. It's foreign rice. The one that. Basmati, that's what I only eat. Oh, yeah. wow. Wow. Your own beggar's choice. A beggar with a choice. I don't understand. <laughs> if it's not basmati, eat your rice. Uh, I don't understand. Basmati, long grain. Do you know what basmati is? Long, long, even basmati. the people that want to buy basmati now, they are looking not, for long grain not, Nigerian rice. Not fake basmati. There's different type of basmati. Long one. The type that is one one. When you boil it, it's one one. Goodness. It's because you don't know how to boil rice. If you boil rice, no matter the type of rice, it will not stick. You have not seen rice. <laughs> the rice you know that comes with stone, now, it's, when you boil it, it's like you, you know can make powdered rice. Yeah, but then we have quite a few people who are, you know, doing this for yeah. us, this giveaway, yeah. this yeah. Um, Christmas season. Yeah. Um, we have a few partners who yeah. are doing this with us this season. Yeah, so we really want to, to say thank you. Too. It's a long list of yeah. people. We yeah. just want to say thank you so much for, you know, doing this with us this yeah. Christmas season, giving away, because um, there are a lot of people who need it. Yeah, thank and thank you. you so much for everything. Well, you're still tuned into the call Nigeria. It is time for our relationship segment and joining us on the couch this morning is Peace Egede. She's a family life and transformation coach who has helped many people find a true essence and find happiness in every situation. And this morning we will be talking about the power of intimacy in relationships. You are welcome. Thank you, Mm. All right, thanks for being here this morning. First off, let us define what intimacy is because a lot of people have the general idea that intimacy means intercourse, right? So what is true intimacy? So intimacy is like the bond that builds the relationship. So it's like the lubricants that helps the relationship grow. Mm. So for you to get to the level of intercourse, you need to have been intimate okay. with that person. How do you build this intimacy? Okay, so by the time you meet someone for the first time and then there's this attraction that we call love, mm. right? And uh, that's actually intimacy. You are 
attracted to the person. There's something between you and that person mm. that just makes you get along. And the time you spend with the person also helps to build intimacy. So cuddling, kissing, and what have you, all those affectionate time you spend with the person build intimacy mm. and you're able to build that oneness with each other. Mm. That's what intimacy is. Now let's talk about the different levels, you know, of intimacy, because I know that there are different levels to it. So let's talk about what those levels are. Okay, so we have the physical level, mm -hmm. we have the emotional level, and then we have the spiritual and then the psychological level. Mm. So the physical level is the one where both of you are able to connect mm. physically. You connect in so many areas. The things you do, <laughs> excuse me, the times you share together, mm. you probably like green and your partner is attracted to green. Mm. And there's this togetherness mm. when it comes to the physical intimacy and you bond easily. Then the emotional intimacy is the one where you're connected, your feelings are connected. You do things together, you work together and you kind of relate in that emotional level. Mm. Then the psychological intimacy is the one where you're able to think out situations together and when issues come, you're able to deal with it without getting to that level of argument or mm. misunderstanding. Mm. Nobody That's said emotional argument. emotional intelligence comes in. Right? Yes, nobody said argument is wrong, mm. but you'll be able to handle it more maturely mm. when you're connected. Mm. And there's another one I omitted, the intelligence intimacy. You are connected, you are attracted to the person because the person is intelligent. Mm. And that's a form of intimacy for a lot of people. Yeah, it is. So it drags you close, the person's intelligence drags you close to the person. The person. And you're able to build a relationship as a result of that. Mm. Now, you also mentioned spiritual intimacy, which I yes. was going to write. Okay. Because um, what I have come to realize is, um, yes, intimacy is very important in a relationship, which of course you establish why it is important. But then I feel like there are people with different levels of intimacy. Not everyone has the same level of, of operates in the same frequency mm -hmm. when it comes to intimacy. So for me, it, I'm, I'm, I, I get attracted to someone on a spiritual level when we have, when we're on the same spiritual wavelength. But I meet somebody who's on, who's for him, that is not his own, um, he's not, he doesn't operate on that frequency in, to be intimate or to be bonded Mm -hmm. with someone mm -hmm. so how do you you know meet each other halfway in that regard okay so um if you if it's a relationship not mm -hmm. a marriage right mm -hmm. if it's a relationship and you're seeing that you're not bonding when it comes to the spiritual connection mm -hmm. communication could help okay. effective communication could help mm -hmm. but if that is not bridging the gap then there's a high chance that that relationship was not, not meant to be okay. but if you're married to the person and you're just realizing that, okay, I'm not spiritually connected to this person. There's a lot of work to be done. But because you're married, you'll be more willing to put in the work mm, than compromise. when you're not together. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So now, there's a lot of work like counseling, therapy session, going through things that will help build the relationship together. Okay. Now let's talk about um, why it is important. Because a lot of people get together for different reasons. Mm -hmm. It could be transactional. Well, mm -hmm. in this club, we all see relationships to be transactional, right? But um, why is it important? What is the need for intimacy in every relationship? Okay, so we see people these days that are married, but intimacy is an ingredient that is missing in their relationship. Their relationship. So as a result of that, the relationship dies a natural death mm. after some time. Mm. You see them living like roommates or homebodies, not married but living single. Exactly. There's no connection yeah. or anything because yeah. the intimacy that bonds them together has been taken out, mm. which is the ingredient. Mm. So the reason why intimacy is important is because that's the lubricant. That's what. So communication is the engine of the relationship, but intimacy is the lubricant that oils the relationship and keeps the engine going. going. So if it's missing, that relationship is more or less transactional than a contract mm. and is not meant to last for so long. Mm. But for you to keep it going for a very long time, intimacy has to be renewed intentionally mm. between the two couples. It's mm. not just intercourse. Intercourse is something you can have with anyone. But intimacy is something you have to build intentionally. And because you built it, it's easy to achieve intercourse with your partner. 
Mm. You know, now I'm listening to what you're saying, and in my head I'm like, is it possible for people to even not know that they do not have intimacy in yes. their relationships? Very possible. Okay, so someone watching this right now may have, you know, spotted that out and is like, okay, so what do I do to build that intimacy with it's my never, partner? It's never too late. Start the journey. <laughs> Start the journey. You just discover that, okay, I've been in this relationship and there's no intimacy. What's the first step? Understand what intimacy is, which you've already spoken about, and then go about looking for the connection between your partner. It might be spiritual, it might be physical, it might be emotional, it might be psychological, mm. it might be the intelligence. So there's something linking both of you. Then focus on building that thing in order to help the relationship grow. So there are people that get into relationship because they love to cuddle. That's just the only reason why they got into the mm. relationship. And over time, they realize that because they get busy, they do different things. That cuddling time is taken out from the relationship. And then the relationship begins to die because the reason why the relationship happened at all mm. has been taken out. taken out. So you have to revive that reason mm. just so that the relationship can stand. This has been very insightful piece. Thank, Thank you. you so much for doing this with us this morning. Um, so learn two things, communication mm -hmm. and um, intimacy, intimacy being the lubricants that, you know, keeps that engine is the going. Engine. Communication okay. is the engine. Intimacy, Intimacy is, is the, the lubricant that, that keeps the relationship going. Thank you so much for this. Welcome. I really appreciate this conversation. All right, I hope you're watching at home. I've been able to learn something about intimacy and its importance in your relationships this morning. <laughs>
if you're alive and you're living, mm. you, I don't think there's any reason for you not to thank God. Mm. So if you have the chance to come and party with us in a co-hotel, it's going to be fun. A lot of artists will be there also to support. Mm. Okay. Big so time. you say party, you say Thanksgiving. Yeah. Now, yes. when people hear Thanksgiving, they always think it's going to be something really religious and yeah. all. Uh, but then you've added party to it. Is it going yeah. to be like a party, but partying in a religious way, mm. or it's going to be party party like <laughs> we're going to expect the I'm big very, names very to smart. <laughs> <laughs> the big names to come okay. in? Okay, well, it's it's so for me the Thanksgiving, like I said, everybody alive has a reason to thank God, mm. and I think uh, in the industry I'm one of those artists that have a two face. Okay, I do the gospel. And I do the secular music. Yes. Okay. I started with gospel in my career okay. and went into secular. And I don't forget my roots. Mm. So I still have that, you know, roots in there. So for me, when I call it Thanksgiving, it's every reason for us to thank God. So right. the party is when we're thanking God, even in churches, we party, you know. Yeah. So for me, as far as your life just comes. So it's gonna be a mix of Thanking God and also celebrating with friends, okay. enjoying your favorite musicians, comedians, okay. entertain you. You know, so it's a mix of, both. you know, both, definitely. Mm. All right. So uh, there are a lot of artists that also kind of toe the line and, and sort of fit in with your vibe. Mm. And you've invited a few of them to be there. Sure. Uh, any big names to look out uh, for? So I think um, we're going to be having likes like Flavor, Timaya. Mm. Wow. Um, nice is going to be there. Wow. Um, Skibi, Inyaya. Uh, and the big names. Uh, 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 nice. Uh, Ricardo nice. Banks. Mm. Amazing. A lot of them I can remember right now. Mm -hmm. You know, and comedians also, a lot of them. Okay. You know, me, I'm very nice and friendly to a lot of them. Them, so they're coming to support. Oh, Even some I've not mentioned their names are definitely going to be there. So, so that's yeah. why he's giving thanks, thanking God for yeah. your relationship that is still strong. Definitely. And of course, so much more. I know we've been um, hearing Thanksgiving playing in the background. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's yeah. So that's a new one I just released about a few days ago. Wow. You know, so after the first kosher praise, there have been pressure on me. Everybody's like, do another one, do another one. So I decided to also do this one this Christmas mm -hmm. to also thanks. Thank God. So this one is called Thanksgiving. Mm. Right. The other one was Cultural Praise. Praise. So yes. this one is new, it's just a few days old. Mm. Amazing. Yeah, so as oh. I'm hearing it now, I'm seeing the Lord in my presence. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. I'm seeing you to the presence of God. So you know how people believe if you're a gospel artist, you need to have a particular image. Mm. So even as you're seeing the presence of God, people are seeing the presence of tattoos on your hands. <laughs> wow, and they are wondering, <laughs> like, yeah. the presence of God, the presence of tattoos. And yeah. Tattoos were something you didn't like growing up. What yeah. happened? What changed? Yeah, it's it's for me. It's it's one thing that's constant is change, mm. and I've I've grew up understanding that you can't just say something and Stick. it might just happen. Mm. So some of the things I said I wasn't gonna do growing up, I found myself doing some of them. Mm. There are some things that like forbidden for me though. So yeah. tattoos were one of those things I said I wasn't gonna have, mm. and so at some point I'll tell you why I got it. So, not per pressure per se, but at some point in the industry, come like, say, everybody get tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, eh, okay. So, I traveled to Spain. I went to Ibiza. I saw 80% of everybody where I am wow. tattooed. I was like, ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, it's like I'm left out. That kind of pressure. Mm. Nobody forced me to. So, mm. I got a little one. When I got a little one, I came back. Everybody where was liked it? it. Um, it was here on my shoulder, okay. so I was hiding it. But I liked it. So when people see, they be like, "Ah, it's nice, so it's good on your skin." Ah, from there, I just <laughs> good on your skin. <laughs> I just designed. They did not let body. us see the yeah. skin again after mm. they said it's good. I just on covered skin. it. So yeah. it's just like that. So and for me, it doesn't mean anything. Mm. I I understand, you know, Christianity or yeah. your belief or whatever, or you being nice is not about what's showing on your body is inside yeah. of you. So for mm. me. My real self is inside of me, mm. you know, and people that have experienced me or that know me knows the real me. Yeah. This has nothing to say about me, yeah. mm. you know, yeah. it's just fashion for me. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about skin quite a bit now with the tattoos, but it, it does feel like to be this long in the industry, you have to have a very thick skin. Mm. Uh, yeah, right. right. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> I know you made sort reference of, to that What earlier? sort of advice do you have for the up and comings that are, that are looking up to people like you? Yeah, well, my advice is simple. Just believe mm. in yourself. Mm. For me, I know mm. when, when I did Limpopo, I saw some comments I favorite and I enlarged it. It's in my house. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, some people told me, you need to go back to the village. Wow. You don't know how to do this music. 
Some people said you need to go back to a niche and start selling clothes. Wow. And those things can be demoralizing. Those things can kill your belief. Mm. You know, but a few months later, mm. some of those people were posting my song. Mm. Some of those people were dancing to Limpopo. You know, imagine if I listen to them or I allow those words affect me. Maybe I won't be here today. So don't let anybody, even your parents. My father didn't want me to sing. Mm. You know, so mm -hmm. sometimes when they tell you no, you tell yourself, what do you have to offer? If you believe in it, nobody can stop you. So my advice is just believe in yourself and believe in what you have. But don't deceive yourself. Ah. You don't have it. You so, don't have it. riding on what you said just now, we, we tend to have a lot of um, up-and-coming artists on our show. Okay. One yeah. performed just yeah, um, uh, before you, uh, this conversation now. Yeah. How can they create a niche for themselves? Because many of them are talented, mm -hmm. but then they seem to be just one of the many fish in the sea, mm. or fishes as the case may be. Yeah. So what can they use to have a niche for themselves to set themselves apart from the rest? So that's, that's a lot of job for them to do, mm. because if you're going into any industry, any business, mm. even if not music, you need to study it, you need to understand it, mm. you need to create something for yourself. Mm. I remember when Don Jazzy came into the industry, he came in with his walking stick, the banjo was uh, coming from London also, he came with his mouth organ, mm -hmm. just to create a niche for themselves first. And now they don't have those things anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming into the industry, you look at everybody, you need to create something for yourself. So what did you create for yourself? Well, uh -huh. growing up, I started with showing you too much bling, showing you that I'm expensive, even when I was living in <laughs> one room. Wow. I yeah. was showing people that, oh, I have lifestyle, yeah. I will go to, um, um, What's the name of somewhere around them? Suleri, I'll buy those big jackets, go to Yaba. Mm -hmm. but, you know, try to live luxury life that I'm not even, but I was already <laughs> seeing myself in that picture. Yeah. And what happened was people started seeing me in that light. Mm. I started writing songs showing that, okay, I'm very expensive, I'm mm. rich. Yeah. And like joke, like joke, I started living the life. Mm. I started thinking towards that direction. Yeah. And today I'm excited that yeah. by the grace of God, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm living real. I used to wear fake of this. Wow. Nice. No, a lot. Right they used to burn my neck. Wow. You see, you see the iron burning my neck. Wow. When someone hits me, you go burn my neck. Mm. But today I wear Xbox. Mm. Wow. You know what I mean? So. Don't worry, you're safe. You it's reach a on journey. <laughs> it's a journey you need to, you know, build and create illusion. And yeah. God will help you be there. Yeah. So for me, my advice is create something for yourself. Mm. What do you want to sell? Mm. Like everybody's selling music. Yes. What do you want to say? I'll give you an example, Rema. Mm. Rema started with a lot of his peers mm. on the same notes. Mm. And before you knew it, boom, he took off. Yeah. Mm. And if you go back to his history, some of us study it like, okay, this boy really created something for himself. Mm. He wanted you to understand that he's aggressive, he's a mm. performer, mm. he's different. Mm. He was just adding different things, mm. changing his voice when he's doing his songs. Mm. There's a lot. And before you know it, he, he came out of too many people and stand. Yeah. And stood alone. So mm. I think nice. for an upcoming artist, think of that thing that will be unique about you, that will be different about you, and sell it to them. Okay, well, I feel gonna... like we should package this and sell it for <laughs> a, few, a few dollars. You know, this is a motivational segment mm -hmm. uh, brought to you by Casey. <laughs> but... Okay, as an aside, quick one. Are you still in contact with Fresh? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. A music interlude. A music interlude yes. coming your way right now. Yes. Uh, and we cannot wait to have him in the kitchen. Yay! Hey. Breakfast time I'm is going here. to the kitchen. Yes, so. Uh -huh. That's all you Oh, Lord of mercy, oh, Lord of mercy, see what you've done to me. Baby, Shako, your body sweet like Shoko. Show you one, give me for my motto. I go make you dance in your willow. Ooh. Ooh. No trouble, no, I be king of the jungle. It's the end. Sunrise, you have any what is this? <laughs> it is rice and sauce. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. talent. This is talent. We perform as now. Wow. Okay, Amazing. today's chef is Chef Tina, mm -hmm. and she has made you stir fried chili beef sauce mm. with oh white God. rice. Yes, so. So, so that's for breakfast. Enticing already. Oh, yeah, diggy, right, diggy. Let's know what you feel about wow. the taste. Yeah. You won't believe what this sauce tastes like. I'm very good in tasting things like this. Wow, woo. With good result, I'll give you right now. All right. So, so I should move on. Yeah, yeah so I'm thinking. You people are just watching me. Yeah, don't worry, is, you are safe, you are safe. Nobody's running the package like it's me. It's you, you are our guest. All right. Enjoy. Uh, 
So what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, <coughs> quick one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yeah, I like meat, so I have to put meat inside. He <laughs> mm -hmm. looked at it again, like, yeah, sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many minutes did you use in doing the brain? Wow, let's wait a minute. Yeah. 20 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's stuff, right? All right. Well uh -huh. We don't play here. Yeah. We are talking about Chef Tina here. The it's chef amazing. with the tall hat. <laughs> yes, sir. The Always sauce is out. amazing. Wow. You like it? I love it. I don't like it, I love it. Oh, nice. Nice. Continue, nice. you guys should continue. Yeah, we are. <laughs> That's the plan. Uh, we're going to continue bringing you amazing uh, stuff every single morning yeah. uh, from 7 a.m. right here on mm. Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah, let's not forget our giveaways. We still have a lot of giveaways. Yes, so up. our keyword um, for today is love. love. Please, I'll give up. Five VIP tickets for my show too. Oh! Chef Tina, see what you have done. Nice. <laughs> what else are you giving out? What else are you giving out yourself as well? Yeah. <laughs> I will give my host to them. You know what they say, you know what they say about food? <laughs> yeah, yes, amen. So amen. Don't Thank carry on going nowhere. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, bright and early, 7 a.m. Bye. Bye. Bye.